Are you tired of tangles and snags in your hair? Well, Vanity Planet's Vibe Hair Straightener has you covered. This innovative flat iron uses gentle vibrations while you straighten your hair to prevent unnecessary damage to your naturally beautiful locks. Forget pulling your hair and having kinks and creases. The vibrating technology allows hair to glide freely between the plates for a smooth look and effortless experience. Go to VanityPlanet.com slash YogaMazingVibe today and get 50% off your first order with the code YogaMazingVibe. That's VanityPlanet.com slash YogaMazingVibe, code YogaMazingVibe. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I'm Chaz, I'm your host, and welcome back. Now, a while back, I got an email from Terry, and she says, Chaz, can you do yoga for walkers? And I said, of course, yoga is great for walkers, joggers, as the anchorman would say, or runners. So we're going to focus on a series of poses that are for walkers, or runners, joggers, joggers, whatever. And it's going to be a great sequence of poses that's going to be beneficial for everyone, even if you're not into jogging, walking, whatever. But we all walk every day. So this is going to be a great little simple sequence of poses that's going to benefit everyone. So thank you, Terry. And if you have an idea for an upcoming episode, please send it to me, Chaz, at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember, if you're looking for past episodes, go to yogamazing.com for the digital downloads, or you can actually get Yoga Amazing 24-7, which is the full HD. And you can also check out High Yoga. That's High Intensity Interval Yoga. It'll take your yoga practice to a whole nother level. So remember, as we go through today's class, to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. From here, we're going to open up our knees, and we're going to drop it into child's pose, and just stretch here and relax. Take these first few moments of class to become focused on the being present in the moment. Remember, big inhales, big exhales through the nose, expanding the chest and lungs. Keep the breath constant and fluid throughout the entire class. From here, let's bring it into a cat and cow pose. Shoulders over the rings of the wrist, knees or hips width apart. From here, inhale, look up, shoulder blades down, spread the sits bones, and as you exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhaling, looking up. And exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Now just set your own movement, your own pattern with your breathing. Inhaling and exhaling with the movement. slowly bring it back to the center. Let's dig our toes in the mat. Let's take it into downward facing dog. Remember from here, we want to make sure that we're going to push back. Remember, we're trying to make an upside down V, not a soft in as I say. So let your body open up, let your hamstrings open up. So bend your knees slightly, pushing back. Draw the shoulder blades away from each other. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Stay here and breathe. Drop to your knees, sit back on your heels for just a few moments, and then let's bring it right back up into down dog. From here, we're going to move forward into some other poses, but nice foundational pose. Down dog pretty much awakens the entire body. That's why I love, love, love doing the down dog. Anytime, anywhere, it's a great pose if you can fit one in sometime during your day. Let's bring the right foot forward, bringing it into a lunge position. So just stay here and breathe, keeping the back toes dug into the mat.
And then we're gonna slowly release, taking it back to a down dog. Stay here and breathe. And left foot forward, drop the other knee. And again, just stay here. Shoulder blades down, soften the gaze, deepen the breath. Take it back to a down dog. And then from here, walk the feet forward. And then I want you to hang like a rag doll. So just allow your whole body just to hang. So no pressure on your arms, your neck, nothing. Just stay here. Great for, this is a great pose to do for your hamstrings. So just relax. Head relax. Great for the shoulders. Great for waking you up and calming you down. And we'll roll it up vertebrae by vertebrae and bring it into a standing position. From here, we'll be doing a couple of poses with a pose between each side. How's that? So we're going to be starting off here in a warrior one. So you're, remember, in warrior one, warrior two, your hips are always open to the side. Warrior one, you square your hips up forward. And we're going to get a nice stretch here into the calf with the warrior one as well. And as you know, if you're doing running or walking, it's good to get that stretched out. So from here, we're going to do a warrior one, hips and chest forward, arms up, bending that front knee. Now remember, as you're doing this, see how I'm pushing into the back heel. I'm not coming up. I'm even, evenly distributing my weight into that back foot, making sure that right knee is over the right ankle in the front. And slowly coming up. Now we're gonna open up our hips. We're gonna go into a triangle pose. So remember, as we're doing a triangle, remember it's almost like a dance. So we want to bring our arms up, take, take a great big inhale. Now, now as you lengthen forward, you're going you're gonna to get the hips going back. So you get that length all the way through the torso. So you're going to take it to here, reach, and then take it down. Now you could use a block, you could stay here, or you can go down or palm on the floor, wherever you're feeling good. Remember, you can look forward, you can look down, and you can also look up depending on how you're feeling. Remember, feel like there's a balloon tied to your hand in the air so that you're not laying all that weight into the arm on the leg. In the breath. And slowly bring it up. Feet forward. Okay. Now from here, we're doing a forward widespread fold as I would call it and so from here big inhale lift into the heart and we're going to hinge keeping your hands on the hips taking your fingertips to the floor or you can keep your hands on the hips now remember you want your spine to be nice and long you don't want to round the back so imagine that as I always tell people imagine there's a plate of food on your tailbone and you're sliding it down vertebrae by vertebrae all the way to the floor from from your neck to the head to the floor without dropping anything but go as far as you need to go. Remember, your body's warming up. Just breathe deeply. up hands to the hips rotating to the other side remember warrior one hips forward warrior two hips open warrior two warrior one hips forward so now from here flattening that back foot remember don't let that foot come off you want to make sure you distribute your weight evenly into the back of that foot right here 
So square your hips up, arms up, big inhale. Then as you exhale, push into that back foot as you bend the front knee. Gaze forward, deep in the breath. Slowly release, arms down halfway. We're gonna be doing a triangle on the side. Remember, we're gonna inhale, reach, lengthen the hips, go back as we go forward, lengthening through the torso. And we want the extension, taking your hand down as far as you can, looking up to the side or down, whichever works for you. You're gonna feel the stretch all right into here in that leg and all over the body. That's why triangle pose is such a great asana to do to open up the body. Slowly release, bring it up, feet forward, big inhale, lift into the heart. And as you exhale, keep the hands on the hips. And if you can take them to the floor, take your hands to the floor. But remember, don't sacrifice the pose. I want you to make sure that your back is straight the entire time, You're hinging from the hips, not from the upper back. And just hang here and breathe. Slowly release, bring it back up. Wiggle your feet together, come to a standing position. Now here, you may want to find a wall if you want. You can grab a wall, or if you can uh, do this standing on your own, that's, that's good too. So from here, we're just going to bring up one, we're just going to do a nice quad stretch. So I want you just to lift up that leg, and I want you to bring the other hand into the chest. release keep your gaze your focus and let's rotate it to the other side bring the hand to the chest and then slowly release now from here we're going to take a great big inhale up and we're going to take it down Walking it back into a down dog. And then from here, you're going to lay down on your stomach for the locust pose. So bring your chin to the floor, arms to your side, palms up, big inhale. And as you exhale, bring it up, arms up, legs up, chest up. We're going to do this twice. So lengthen through the neck, lengthen through your toes. Every muscle is active. Squeeze and lengthen. Release. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring it back up one more time. And release. Push it back into child's pose, stretch it out. <clears throat> Slowly bring it up, crisscross your legs, sit on your bottom. We're gonna bring it into cobbler pose. So make sure that you hands around the feet and you're gonna peel your feet apart like you're opening up a book. So you wanna root into the Mula Bandha. You want to squeeze and lengthen. Now you may be up here, but see, I don't want you snug in those shoulders around your ears. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, lengthen the knees, peel your feet apart. Like I said, you're opening up a book. Everybody's at a different space. Just find out where you are and go there.
and slowly release. From here, let's lie on our back. Now we're gonna cross the right leg over the left. We're gonna interlace our fingers behind the left knee. You're gonna push your right elbow into your right knee and then you're gonna pull back. Now, this is like doing a pigeon pose on your back because you're gonna feel this right here, right there into your, your bottom. But you gotta push that elbow into that knee and pull it in. You'll definitely feel this. So just stay here and breathe. I know I feel it. Slowly release, rotate to the other side, left foot over the right knee, interlocking behind the right knee, inhale, and as you exhale, oh my gosh, I can feel that. Left elbow into left knee, as you pull that knee in, you push the left knee out. Slowly release, squeeze your legs in, give yourself a great big hug, rock them out side to side. And then from here, stretch it on the floor, go to Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side, palms up. Just give yourself these next few minutes to just completely relax and surrender and allow the beauty of yoga, the body, the breath, the mind to all connect your whole body just to relax. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Are you tired of tangles and snags in your hair? Well, Vanity Plant's Vibe Hair Straightener has you covered. This innovative flat iron uses gentle vibrations while you straighten your hair to prevent unnecessary damage to your naturally beautiful locks. Forget pulling your hair and having kinks and creases. The vibrating technology allows hair to glide freely between plates for a smooth look and effortless experience. Go to VanityPlanet.com slash YogaMazingVibe today and get 50% off your first order with the code YogaMazingVibe. That's VanityPlanet.com slash YogaMazingVibe, code YogaMazingVibe.